Last season when Blair was two, we mostly rode with her with hands on because she wasn't quite strong enough to always hold herself up and she would fall over. And also two year olds don't always like to listen. So she would have flopsy days where she would just fall down a lot. So we mostly did hands on with her when she was two. But now that she's three and she's getting a bit stronger, we use like a typical ski harness backpack, but just with one strap so that she can stand sideways. And uh, it's a lot easier on mom's back. And it also gives her a bit more freedom to start to do turns and cruise around. And so she doesn't feel so restricted with just doing hands on. So it just clips on in the front and you can tighten it up so it's really secure. And it's got a handle here so you can kind of grab them and pick them up when you need to. And um, you can use this for skiing as well. So it's got the spot for two, two leashes here. But so for snowboarding, I just use one so that she can be sideways facing down the hill and I can just slow her down while she does some turns on her own. So side slipping is the process of just sliding down a hill on one edge. In this case, we're gonna start with the heel edge because it's much easier. To slow down, you lift your toes up. If you want to go faster, you put your toes down a little bit. Bryn, you ready? Yeah. Sliding on your heel edge, buddy. Look at me. Heads up. Good job. How do you slow down? Um, heel up. Lift toes. Once they start to pick up the idea of side slipping down on the heel edge, you can start to get them moving in one direction and the other. At this age, a lot of the kids still don't know left and right very well, so I picked two things. I picked, hey, look at the magic carpet and try to lean towards the magic carpet, point a little bit that way. And then look at that tunnel, lean towards the tunnel, point towards the tunnel, look towards the tunnel. And just as they're going down the hill, moving a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, and just playing with that weight. It's the first time you get moving around on the snowboard, huh? This season, I was planning to just have Blair kind of get used to sliding on her heel edge, doing some straight running and starting to do some side slipping on her heels back and forth some pendulum to get used to changing direction a little bit. Um, but just last week, she just started doing toe turns on her own. So now I'm just kind of letting her do her thing and using the leash just to slow her down so that she can kind of cruise around and go wherever she wants to. Um, and I mostly just tell her to think about looking where she wants to go and bending her knees because the little guys have a good natural balance position. Um, so just reminding her like look over at the chairlift or look over at the magic carpet and bend your knees and I say knees please a lot. Um, so yeah, that seems to be working for her. She's just kind of figuring it out herself and just watching us, I think she figured out how to just do sort of pivot turns to start with and now she's starting to do a bit more S turns as she gets used to that. So I ride with her and we do heel turns and toe turns together. And I've just been reminding her which foot is her front foot so she can try to bend both knees and look down the hill. So really just focusing on, that's right, that's your front foot. So just focusing on the basics of bending knees and looking ahead. And then uh, with time, she's kind of just finding her edges by herself. Good job, all right. Teaching your kids to snowboard can be very difficult. And, and funny. And funny and frustrating sometimes. And some days are really hard, but um, the good days are worth it and it's, it's really fun. Is it fun to snowboard yeah. with mom? Yeah. Yeah. One of the toughest things about teaching kids to snowboard is just managing your own expectations. A big part of getting them into the sport is just getting them used to putting all the gear on, getting to and from the mountain, and uh, not worrying about how much time they actually spend sliding on the snow to start with. You want to keep it really fun and positive and you can start to think of some fun little sayings like when Blair falls down and she's trying to get back up off the snow, I like to say one, two, three, tall like a tree because that's always fun and it makes her laugh. And sometimes if she falls down, I'll give her a little tickle and keep it fun so that even if it's getting tough out there on the snow and we're doing hard work, that's okay because you guys are really good at doing tough things, right? Is snowboarding fun? Yeah, yeah snowboarding is fun. You just want to keep it as positive as you can and uh, that way your kids are going to want to come back and try it again the next time. Snowboarding with kids can be pretty challenging. Sometimes you have a very small amount of time. You only get an hour or two to have fun with them out there on the snow before they potentially get too tired or too grumpy. If they do get tired and start getting kind of over it, best thing is probably to call it and come back another day. Overall, it's worth it because it's pretty fun when they start getting it and when they get excited about snowboarding and it's gonna make a massive difference in your guys' lives when they get older and all snowboard together. Remember to keep it light and fun. Don't set your expectations too high on their first year of snowboarding. Their progression rate can be so fast, so enjoy your time with them while you can still keep up to them. This is Nev Lapwood from Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your riding.